Hey everyone, today let's look at starting a new Xcode project without storyboards, line by line. So when you start a new Xcode project, you can choose a single view application. I'm going to title this Goodbye Storyboards. And then down here, the language I'll be using is Swift. And I usually keep these three checked because I never know when I might use them in the future. All right. So you can create that where you like. So when you open your project, you'll notice here on the left, it automatically generates this main.storyboard file. Uh, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description to a video explaining what it is and then the pros and cons of either using one or not using one. First things first, what you want to do, it's pretty simple, is just delete that file. All right, you can move it to trash. And because you deleted that file, in the info.plist right here, uh, it still says that we'll be using it right here where it says main. So all you want to do is just make sure you delete that main there and it should be all set like that. So it won't be looking for us to use that file. Uh, the second place where it'll be assuming we're using that file is up in your main target here. Uh, and if you go down to where it says main interface, as you can see, it still says main. Same thing, we just have to delete that. So at this point, if you were to try and build and run this application, it would actually crash as soon as you started it, just because it's looking for a beginning point, and we've just deleted that. Uh, but as I said, the main point of this video is to not use a storyboard and create our own entry point for the app. So we can actually adjust that right here in the app delegate. There's this function called, uh, let's see, did finish with launching options. And right here, uh, in between where it says override point and return true, that's where we can do our work inside of this function. What we want to do is very simple. It's actually only three lines of code. So let me just put in a comment here that says something like ignore the storyboard, right? So if you notice, we have our own variable up here window and we'll be using that to create our own entry point. So what we can do, because there's this question mark up here, that means it could have nothing in it. Uh, we're going to say window is equal to a UI window, right? And when you press this opening parentheses, it's going to give you two initializers that allow you to create your own. We're going to use the frame, all right? And what frame will be passing it is this UI screen, all right? Should autofill dot main dot bounds. What that means basically is just the screen of your device and its boundaries. All right, so that is a window we'll be working with now. Uh, and all we have to do, it's going to be looking for this right here, this function, which is make key and visible. All right, which is going to do exactly what it says. It's going to make it visible. For our third and final line of code, we're going to write window dot root view controller is equal to a UI navigation controller and we're going to press that open parentheses again and use the root view controller and this one is looking for a UI view controller and we already have one made up here in our files that was automatically generated uh, which is just called view controller so we can actually pass that in and that'll be our first view controller that is presented onto the scene all right and that is the view controller right there and you just want to give it that instantiation which is these open and close parentheses so now we can test that it will run properly by just going into that view controller file so if you click on that and go in here right when that view loads if we say view dot background color is equal to a UI color uh, let's say dot well let's use blue alright so now we don't have a storyboard, but in the app delegate, we created our own window and told the window to use this view controller as the initial start point. And then inside that view controller, we set the background color to blue just so that we could see if it worked properly. So I've loaded up our simulator, and if we build and run this, we should see a blue background. All right, so there you have it. 
we've successfully created an application without using storyboards and this should be a basis for the rest of the videos we're going to be looking at on this channel. Uh, we'll be doing a lot of things programmatically and without storyboards. Well, I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.